Greece was one of Europe's stars. At one point, its economy grew at around 4.2% each year. Today, the country's a basket case. So what happened? and why. In part, Greece has itself to blame. Before 2008, it spent big time on the military, public sector jobs, pensions, and other social benefits. Tax evasion flourished, tax enforcement didn't. And then there was the cost of hosting the 2004 Summer Olympic Games in Athens, about 11 billion euros. But most seriously, Greek politicians had been understating the country's deficit for years. Everything came crashing down after the 2008 financial crisis, when we learned Greece owed a lot of people a lot of money. By 2010, Greece was locked out of financial markets. The only way back in was by borrowing money. But from where? Eurozone countries, the European Central Bank, the International Monetary Fund, they call that the Troika these days. They came through with one bailout, and then another. But that money came with strings attached, austerity, which had a devastating impact on the Greek people. They had their salaries cut, they lost their jobs, pensions, healthcare, and social services were slashed. Taxes went up, public assets were sold. The measures were supposed to fix the Greek economy. Instead, they made things worse. Today, Greece owes its creditors a total of 320 billion euros. Over the past five years, GDP, a measure of a country's growth, has fallen by 25% while unemployment is now up at 26%. An even scarier number, death by suicide has gone up by 35%. That's how Greece got to where it is today. Where it goes next, that's a lot less.